In this video, we're going to make a simple rectangular plate with a centered hole that's completely parametric, and we're going to adjust variables throughout. Our part will look something like this when we're finished. Here's a quick drawing. Let's open up a new document. To get started, let's right click on the unsaved and let's create a new component. I'm going to save this. We're going to start with a new sketch and let's create a two point rectangle on the X and Y plane. So looking at it from the top view, let's draw our rectangle in space and use the D key to dimension each of our sides. Our first dimension, let's make three inches and for our width dimension, Let's make this five inches. I'm going to coincident this bottom left corner on the origin. I'm fully constrained. The next step is to create a circle and I'll use a center point circle. And I'm just going to draw it within our box here. I'm going to use the D key to dimension the diameter and let's make this one inch and I will use the dimension to center the circle from each side. So this dimension will be half of five, that will be 2.5 inches. And in the same respect from the other side, this will be half of three, which is 1.5 and I'll press enter. That circle should now be centered and fully constrained. I'm going to stop my sketch and I'm going to extrude by hitting E on the keyboard. I'm going to extrude this in one direction with a distance and I will extrude this out of quarter inch material. I will hit OK and I've now made my plate. I'll go down to my timeline and rename and I will call this geometry sketch and I'm going to in rename the extrude as geo extrude. So I know that that's my extrusion from that first geometry. Our simple plate now is not fully parametric. I can go back to my sketch and adjust different dimensions by hitting edit sketch, double clicking a dimension and changing it. But if I double click this and say my part is 3.5. Now my circle is 1.5 from the top, but it's two inches away from the bottom. It's not centered anymore. So I'd have to adjust this dimension and change two dimensions for every one change of my part. I'll bring that back to three, stop my sketch. We're going to go to the modify tab and change my parameters. If I look here, I have parameters under component and I've got my sketch that I named and I've got my extrusion that I've named. Let's hit the drop down on the sketch and let's look at all of our dimensions. Dimension one is the three inches from the rectangle. Dimension two is the five inch width from the rectangle. Dimension three looks like it's the radius from the circle. Dimension four, is the distance from the width. Dimension five is the distance from the height, that three. So what we can do is actually name these variables. So let's call this the height. Let's call this the width. Let's call this the circle diameter. So I'll put a D in there. And let's call this center width. And we'll call this center height. I'm going to leave these as dimensions. And I'm going to take these centers. I will call this width divided by 2. And I will call this height divided by 2. Now I can hit OK. And my part hasn't changed at all. But when I go back to edit my sketch, if I look 
this dimension is a function and this dimension is a function with the result. So if you double click, you can see here it's actually width over two. So I'm going to go back to my modify tab, change my parameters, and I'm going to change my width to seven. And I'm going to hit OK. If I look, my circle is still centered, but my part width has changed. So that is fully parametric to this geometry that I'd like. I can do the same with my extrusion value if I wanted it a percentage of the growth so it would scale properly. Uh, what I'm going to do is add a tolerance to the hole. And we'll go back to change parameters. And I'm going to add a user parameter. And let's call this tall for tolerance. And this is going to be, let's say we need a 3% tolerance. So let's type 1.03. And we'll call this 3% uh, tolerance. So we can write a comment and I'll hit OK. So now I have a user parameter. And for my circle diameter, what I'm going to do is multiply this by the tolerance. So it's asking me for the diameter of the circle times the tolerance. So let's hit OK. So my circle should have gotten bigger. With my measure tool, it's now 1.03 inches. So it multiplied times that 3% tolerance. So now, if I want to go back and edit my sketch, again, I have a function here. And where it says 1 times my tolerance, I could say it's, oh, it's actually 1.25 times my tolerance and my circle gets bigger and it automatically calculates that percentage increase. I'll hit stop sketch. I can inspect my part and there we go. So now we can adjust for different variables, create functions for our parts so that things are fully parametric. Make sure you name things in a way that you can understand and you can go back and change properly once your designs get fairly complicated. Use the measure tools to check and go back and make sure all of your parts are the way that you think that they should be once you adjust different parameters. Don't forget to save your work.